It would be cool if I can see what queries are generated while I'm logging in with some credentials, what are the caching there and what exactly happens inside Laravel. So let me introduce you with Telescope. So as we have logged in, you can see in the telescope, Laravel telescope requests are there. So the post request from the login and 302, this means redirection and redirect to homepage. That means get request. And if I see inside of this post request, we have all the things which are happening inside the Laravel. So email is this payload is this and obviously password is not shown and the headers and the sessions responses uh, yeah very important queries <laughs> caching all things in this episode so let's check out laravel telescope hello and welcome to bitfumes and recently Taylor Ortwell and Mohammed said has released an awesome package which they call it Laravel Telescope. Why they call it Telescope? <laughs> so firstly, what this package do? This package is actually a debug tool for your Laravel framework. So what actually this do? This just catch each and everything, whatever your application is facing like request or whatever the request is coming what queries are generating what commands you have run or in your application has run then jobs then queries mail notification almost everything whatever happens in your Laravel application it just logs everything you can see it as a log but it's more of that it's just a debug tool so you can you can see each and everything in details and obviously then you can control your application so talking about the name level telescope yeah telescope name is very suitable here why because the telescope you can see the things you cannot see via your normal vision so similarly these things you cannot actually observe happening in your application and your laravel application and that's why laravel telescope is an awesome 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 tool to debug your application or simply visiting inside of your laravel framework so let's first get started with this because this is just a package so what you need to do you need to have it via composer require so i have this telescope named laravel application it's just a fresh installation and i'm just going to get it so now the telescope is installed successfully an important point to consider here is that because this is a debug tool it is available for dev only but you can access it on production also and we will see how we can do that but let's first complete the installation so we need to install this telescope so run this command and this one is here so what this command has done this just published the service provider so this means now you have in your app providers folder a new service provider which is called telescope service provider simple enough just have register and gate methods okay so then assets so if you look at resources views no here is no asset yeah so here inside the public folder you have vendor and now you can see you have telescope css and js file which you can obviously modify if you need then the configuration which is inside config and telescope.php we will look into the configuration later but let's first see how this is going to work and because it need database we need to migrate it and to migrate we firstly need to connect to our database so i have created a database called test and these are the credentials no problem and yes you can see this is empty for now 
if I do this and this time if I refresh here yeah now I have three new tables which is especially for telescope so telescope monitoring telescope entries tags and telescope entries so these are the entries but how this is going to look so to have a look we just need to start a server and by the way this PAS is just a alias I have created and if you want to know what are the alias I have already so what you need to do you need to go to my profile on Sarthak Sevi that means github.com slash Sarthak Sevi and you can get on the gist so get the gist and uh, yeah Z shell gist is here Sarthak Sevi and gist is this one so you can find this uh, gist tutorial on my channel also so come back to telescope <laughs> okay so we have done this we have migrated and now we have that now, the last thing is publishing the asset or simply do this okay what this has done this has just vendor level telescope public to public vendor telescope public vendor telescope it's already there uh, okay updating telescope when updating telescope you should re okay so this is actually when uh, it is updated some suppose you have updated to other another version of uh, uh, telescope so because we already have uh, published these CSS and JS we need to replace this with another one the new one so that's why we have this command so actually we have done all these things we just need to go on our server so let's go to the server and to have telescope you just need to say slash telescope and yes you have all these things and you have seen the main thing because we have first visited the base URL so that is here you can see it has request get request on base URL status is 200 and when this happened just now you can have a look on this it just give you the host name and time then headers session response almost everything you can get that's why it's a good debug tool so what if once more I visit but I visit a page which is not exist so exist <laughs> okay so what happened here yeah it's going to give the 404 and if I see here yeah it says load new entry click here and now you can see we have visited this part and this has given 404 status code and again you can see all the details so these things are very useful when you are uh, debugging your application your Laravel application that's why Laravel telescope is a huge help from Taylor Otwell and uh, Muhammad said so yeah Taylor Otwell is here so if you see on the commits 759 commits till now uh, where is Muhammad's profile yeah here's this so this is the profile of Muhammad said and he's a cool guy <laughs> and he has done a great great work on telescope along with uh, Taylor Otwell so this thing is very nice but in the next episode we will see how we can restrict uh, the visiting of telescope if we are on production we will see these things in the next episode and if you like this telescope just go on the github repository hit a star button and if you want to contribute hit a fork button if you want to uh, follow this hit a watch button and if you like this tutorial then you need to go on youtube.com slash bitfumes and subscribe to this channel and you can also follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye